I want to um, take my hat off to these players, these coaches. Trev, our elect director, our administration, for um, believing, in me, believing in me. This was early when this happened. We had to take this team over. The one thing I can say that they fought. They fought every, every Saturday that they came out. Nobody can deny that. Because that's what we asked them and that's what we expected out of them. We talk about a high character group. I love them for that. I love these coaches for that. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. They finished something that that they started, and that's what we asked them to do. Questions? We just. Do you think you could score that many points on that defense? Well, we thought we had some good matches with our receivers on ADBs. It was a, it was the, um, who's going to be the hold up and protection, and we did move the pocket. Kind of threw them off a little bit, but we didn't. We felt good with our receivers against their defensive backs. Nebraska's first uh, win over Iowa in, in eight tries. Their eight tries. I mean, what's this feel like just for the kids to see this moment for those guys? Well, I'm happy for them because they hadn't beat them in a while. You know, I told them, I said, you let Wisconsin off last week. Let's not let these guys off. But you can see that, you know, they, 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 they believe in one another and they kept fighting. Talk about trust. You punted there on fourth and one. I assume you trusted your defense to get this up. Well, guys, they, we're gonna we're gonna give them all their black shirts back and let somebody else do it. He's gonna have to deal with it, but we're gonna give them all their black shirts back. But yeah, I trusted what they've been doing. They've been playing lights out for the last couple of weeks, so we trust that we can put them back on the field and they was gonna get a stop. So they get the black shirts back tonight or tomorrow? Well, I'll probably get them back tonight when they um when they get back. But it'll be in their lockers when they come in on Monday. I think um, when, when things are slipping and kind of going south there at the end, did, did, did you have any like old any, any notion like here we go again? No, no. I've been doing this long enough. I keep telling you I'm from New Orleans. We don't we don't panic, you know. You know, we, we just have to keep fighting. We have to keep throwing blows. You know, we have to keep throwing blows. And, and if I feel like I'm panicking, then they're gonna panic. So no, we just gonna keep fighting. And you didn't you didn't sense that from the kids either, though. No, no, because if, if Daddy don't panic, the kids don't panic. You t Trey, Trey broke the single season record too uh, with with his uh, yardage today. Uh, just talk about his his season and, and and what he did in this game, kind of breaking it open. Well, Trey, we thought that they was gonna have trouble guarding Trey. You know, we just talked to Trey this morning about just use your speed. You know, don't tip throw through it. Just put speed on him and see if they can cover you. And Trey did a really good job of running by him and catching the football. Other questions, Mickey? What kind of a, what, what kind of a sense did you get that this moment? What does this moment mean to the to those guys in the locker room? It's big. You know, they they're going out. They're going out a winner. They they won the last game. You know, um, it, it, it's it's it was hard on them because every loss, you know, they understood why we lost, and we said, hey, we got to play sixty minutes of really good football, and we had to play. And we did it today. We had to play sixty last week. This was counts. We played fifty six. So we played 60 today, and that's how you that's how you need to finish in this conference. What was that like, Mickey, for you running off the field? The fans kind of going crazy. And you can tell how much this fan base, like, I think, oh, wants it. I mean, you're right. I, I, I forgot these fans. These fans are unbelievable, and I, I appreciate their support for me and the team. And um, they came out tonight, tonight in numbers, and they were, they were screaming. They were yelling, and I'm glad we was able to get that win for them. But, you know, the fan base, we have the best fan base in America, and I think everybody knows that. What, you, you had made a uh, comment earlier in the week that you know, you're going to enjoy tomorrow with your family. Uh, do you have any sense of, of what lies ahead for you uh, as, as a coach and the rest of the staff? No. No. We, you know, we, we control what we was able to control was to play this game and win this game. Now, it's not on us. Right now, we just sit back and play the waiting game. But you know what? I've been through this before. I've been through it before, so I'm helping these coaches that haven't been through it. But we have a really good coaching staff. And they all, they're all going to land on their feet because they're really good football coaches. It happens in this profession. It's changes, changes that made it. And they understand it. But I, I take my hat off to them because I told them today that I really respect them as men because they didn't quit. They stayed in the fight with the kids. Not one day did they say, hey, I don't want to do this. So you take your hat off to them. You got to understand, we had the oldest thing together for 11 weeks. Not five and not six, 11. And they did it. We didn't get the wins like we wanted, but they held it together. Like what, are you, what are you most proud of about the job that you did? Well, I think when, what I learned in, on this job is that I have I had to be a good person in front of being a good coach. 
because that's the only way these kids and these coaches are going to believe in me if I was a good person. And I, I think that happened. And usually, you know, the Joe's and boys, we good, we good people. You know, and that's why those kids, these kids, was able to follow us, follow me. One or two more. Nick, no, no matter where you go from here, how do you think? That's really early, but how do you think you're going to look back at the year that you had to come back and be the head coach of your at Nebraska? Well, like I said, you know, I picked, I picked the Nebraska, to come to Nebraska two times in my life, 1987 and 2021, you know, that I came back here. I could have went anywhere in the country when I came out of high school. I could have went anywhere in the country when I left LSU, but I chose to come back to Nebraska. It's a good feeling. I love Nebraska. I love the state. I love the people. I love everything what Nebraska stands about, and I think you can see today. That they, they, you know, these kids are young. They're young in this conference, and they, and they believe now. So now you got to just build on them. How proud does that make you that you got them to believe in themselves? Oh, very proud. Because I, I knew it was going to be a tough task. I knew it was going to be a tough task. You know, when you, when you, when you make a move like that early in the year, you know, you got to really capture the kids. So we had to start right away. You remember, we changed the way we were practicing. We gave them off on Monday. We kept them in the building on Sunday so they could block out the noise. But they did a great job of doing that. So, yeah, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the kids. I'm proud of the coaches. Else for coach? Is it important for you to be able to talk to the next to the next guy who's chosen to be the head coach? Do you I don't want think to sit that's down? up to me. I think that's up to the next guy. You know, I'm good because I understand it. The next guy comes in, he deserves to pick his staff. And I'm good with it. Like, I've been in. I've been over this thing for over 25-plus years. I got, I got a pretty good resume. So, somebody's going to hire me. Right, if uh, Mickey, if if the new coach, whoever it is, asked you um, recommendations or just evaluations of guys, I mean, are you open to giving them? Yes, I mean that that's something that you that you you know being professional and being like I said, I'm a good person. I would do that. Thank you.